discovery of new lithium reserves be a game changer for India? Let's find out. Back in 3UI Business Bites. India's discovery of lithium reserves in Jammu and Kashmir is being touted as a game changer for an economy that is fast looking to go green. What does this discovery mean for India? How will the reserves be harnessed and are there any environmental implications? Chatting up with us on this important topic is Hethal Gandhi of Crystal. Hi Hethal, welcome to the show. Hi. So Hethal, my first question to you is that what is the significance of this discovery of the lithium reserves and is the optimism around it warranted? You know, February 2023 is when uh, GSI announced uh, that they have found around 5.9 million tons of lithium reserves in, uh, you know, GNK. Uh, now, this lithium has been found along with the bauxite reserves. So, if I have to very simply and in plain, la- plain language explain it to you, uh, there are four kinds of surveys that get conducted uh, when any reserve is being proven. The first survey is called as the G4 survey. For lithium, that survey was conducted way back in around 1999. And it was being established that X amount of lithium content is being found uh, in the reserves. Uh, Now, the survey that is out is the G3 survey, uh, which is referred to as the inferred survey. And after this, there are two more rounds of survey, which is G1 and G2, where you will have economic viability of extracting lithium uh, over uh, that will be established okay right. now there are two parts to this one is that uh, you know we do believe that g3 also is a pretty early stage and as you go to g2 and g1 uh, you know the quantum of lithium that uh, can be derived from those reserves can differ so hence uh, you know uh, one should not be very excited should be a little cautious when they are looking at these reserve numbers Uh, and they should not be directly compared uh, you know with maybe established reserves internationally Uh, but there is clearly a reason for us to be optimistic because you know g3 is establishing that yes we have lithium now why optimistic because we are looking at domestically as well as internationally uh, move towards uh, uh, you know electric vehicles plus right. everything that we are using in life whether it is mobile phones or, or you know energy or, uh, in the form of electricity everything requires storage so you are also using batteries to store and where lithium is being used as a important or crucial raw material and therefore, uh, you know, it is going to be very important from a future standpoint to have lithium reserves established. Uh, you know, we have imported almost 800 tons plus of lithium last year itself. Requirement of lithium is going to increase exponentially for from an India perspective. Okay, and what are the sectors that are likely to benefit from this? Yes, so if you have to very simply look at uh, lithium, 80% of the lithium goes in battery manufacturing. Usage of battery today uh, from an India perspective would be, uh, you know, more from cell phones. As we move ahead, will be substantially higher from electric vehicles and as well as uh, grid storage battery, which is used to store renewable energy. So, you know, clearly these three sectors, uh, you know, that would be benefited. The government of India is also trying to set up a good battery ecosystem in the country. Uh, we have the PLI scheme under which, uh, you know, ACC battery was an important category. And uh, uh, clearly after the PLI scheme, the bids which have happened, nearly 50 gigawatt hours of battery manufacturing capacity uh, is set to be set up in India, of which almost 30 gigawatt has also received approval. Okay, and how can these reserves be harnessed? There's an elongated process. You will have to first go to establish, you know, what is your actual reserve amount. And there are more micro studies which are being done that determines the quality of lithium, which in turn will decide the process that will be adapted for extraction of these uh, lithium from the reserves. Okay, okay. And uh, some people have been flagging environmental, uh, you know, concerns with regards to the whole lithium reserves extractions. Okay, now over here also there are multiple issues. Any mining activity, 
has environmental as well as socio economic impacts environmental impacts because uh, you know you will typically be using uh, open pit mining then there will be processing refining waste disposal or the storage part of it all of this involved so that is why you know there will be normally environmental concerns linked to any mining activity india is also a very large producer in terms of coal or even iron ore requirements that domestically are needed lithium mining itself requires a lot of water also apart from the pollution linked things that it has so for example if you want to mine 1 million ton of lithium then you will approximately require 2.2 million liters of water or uh, to just mine uh, please note uh, you know coal and iron ore at the mining stage not much water is needed but when you want to do the beneficiation which means you know improve the quality there is a process which is being done there it requires a lot of water uh, the another part of it is also socio economic environment impact so uh, you know uh, there is a biodiversity impact any time mining ecosystems are being set up plus you know where we have found the mines is the jammu and kashmir region where you also have the himalayan ecosystem Uh, which is in and around this area uh, it the area is vulnerable to earthquake landslides uh, and a number of other uh, environmental activity happening and uh, as a result of which there is a little bit of higher concern when it comes to the overall economic process when it comes to the whole renewable push that the world is you know looking at and india is also playing a very prime part in that uh, how do you see the lithium reserves helping there and do you think that there is an export potential going ahead for india's economic balance if we keep importing our raw material requirements uh, then there is a negative impact in terms of our balance of trade uh, to a certain extent india is hopeful that with the energy push moving away from oil uh there is a chance that our balance of import scenario or balance of trade scenario can actually improve right if we are able to have the lithium uh mining part actually based out of india then that can happen that is one part another part is the renewable energy push we have targets of setting up 500 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity by 2030 now renewable energy capacity in again very plain language is different than coal based energy uh it is more volatile if one has to say so so for example there are certain months when you can extract more solar power than the other months yeah. similarly there are certain times of the day when you can extract more solar uh, power uh, than you know the other parts of the day considering this you need to store energy at the times when you are actually generating more energy so for that you require battery storage uh, our estimates indicate anywhere between 60 to 65 gigawatt worth of battery capacity that india might need by the time we reach 2032 uh, mm-hmm. considering this uh, you know the renewable energy push will get a great boost if i am able to produce batteries domestically at a much cheaper cost so that also makes the uh, lithium reserves part of it pretty crucial from an overall renewable energy perspective this is power side of it and of course we all know the electric vehicle story where also the renewable push or you know low carbon footprint push is clearly going to be there if we are using batteries vis-a-vis uh, oil in our uh, cars so uh, the domestic potential itself is very very high the reserves that we are talking about are pretty less as compared to maybe argentina that has established reserves of 17 to 18 mtpa uh, or even Aust- uh, you know bolivia that has more than 20 million tons of uh, proven reserves so ours are much lower than that i believe the kind of demand that we are going to have domestically at least in the initial years you will see the usage mainly from a domestic perspective than export perspective